Momonosuke and Kinemon are finally reunited, and the Straw Hats celebrate their victory at Punk Hazard in my review of One Piece episode 622. I don't have too much to say about this episode of One Piece other than the fact that really it's just sort of wrapping up everything that's been going on in the Punk Hazard arc and it's giving all of our main characters a chance to take a little bit of a breather and celebrate their huge victory until presumably Doflamingo comes in and starts stringing all of their asses to death. So this really wasn't a waste of an episode and it had a lot of moments that I thought were actually pretty funny. Uh, one thing that I thought was interesting is how Law was able to save all of the children by cutting out all of the different parts of their body. This is funny because Law actually warns Chopper that he doesn't want to see this procedure. He doesn't want to see any of this. But this piques his curiosity and Chopper sneaks in to see what's going on. And essentially he just thinks Law's a murderer. And I love how he just sort of runs out and starts screaming about that. But nobody seems to pay attention to Chopper whatsoever and they just sort of write it off like it's nothing. And throughout the course of the episode you get to see that Chopper does sort of slightly start to warm up to Law. And he realizes that he was just trying to help them the entire time. And that's because, of course, Chopper's a doctor and he cares about the kids. The other very important part of this episode is we do get the big reunion between Momonosuke and Kinemon. And something that I think is kind of a cop-out is the fact that Kinemon somehow survived. And I don't know how it worked, essentially uh, Brooke accidentally pushed him over and since he was covered with all of that poisonous ash, it sort of just broke off and I don't know, maybe I was guessing that the poison would still affect them even when it was covering them, even if you tried to remove it. The Marines themselves even figure out a way to save their friends by uh, interrogating Caesar Clown and it just looks really funny and I love his reaction to figuring out the smoker is alive too. He's so like beat up he still can't like really think straight. The scene, with Kino, the scene with Kinemon and Momonosuke finally reuniting is very heartwarming and cheesy and schmaltzy, but I guess that's kind of perfect for this time of year. It is the holidays after all, but uh, it is good to finally see them reunite with each other. You can tell that they have a really strong relationship, and uh, it gets even more important when uh, Sanji decides he's going to cook for him because he hasn't eaten in days, and uh, Momonosuke is still being a little asshole about the fact that he doesn't want to eat. He's all like a warrior, doesn't need to eat. But eventually he finally gives up his pride when he sees his father decides to join in. And uh, this is when the Straw Hats sort of like have this big like random celebration out of nowhere which is just very spur of the moment and very funny because uh, Law warns Luffy. He's like, hey, someone's coming after us. We need to get out of here now. And uh, he tells him, you need to go tell your crew we need to start like picking things up and getting out of here. And Luffy like gets on this big soapbox and he's like, alright, someone's about to come after us. We're probably in big trouble. Let's get hammered. Everybody celebrates. There's a scene with uh, Nami and Tashigi where they finally get over their stuff where uh, Tashigi uh, wants to take care of the children, but Nami's a little reluctant at first because of what the Navy has actually done to them. But uh, still getting to see them sort of like have their like moment where they reconcile everything is uh, really well done. One funny little detail about this episode, something that I shouldn't even have been thinking about when I was watching it, but I thought it was really funny. The fact that Sanji, you know, he's like the ultimate cook. He has like all the like greatest materials and tools. But he apparently has this, like, giant bowl, a massive spoon, and this giant salt shaker which he holds on his shoulder, which I don't know why I found that so funny. But you know what? This is one piece. This shit happens. At the end of the episode, we get the reminder that uh, Luffy and Law are teaming up to go up against the four emperors. Specifically, they're going to be going after Kaido. But uh, Luffy wants to save Shanks for last because, of course, he's going to beat all of the emperors. And that's where we get our to-be-continued screen ending this week's episode. And uh, like I said, pretty decent one right here. Uh, it moved at a pretty brisk pace, and I'm glad that they were able to uh, focus on a lot of different characters throughout the course of the episode. Uh, you know, it was really just sort of a relaxing episode, but it still had a lot of really funny imagery from a lot of the different members of the Straw Hat crew. And uh, I'm just waiting for Doflamingo to just show up out of nowhere and just like blow everything up. I cannot wait to see that happen, uh, if that happens. I cannot wait to see that, but... Uh, Still, fun episode right here. Uh, nothing that's going to like blow any minds, but if you're fans of the One Piece series, in particular the characters in it, you're probably going to get something out of this episode. And as cheesy as it is, it is a heartwarming episode, and it is perfect for this time of year. So check it out. Uh, I'd give it a 7 out of 10. Nothing perfect, but still a pretty entertaining episode that you should check out if you're a fan of the series. So pretty decent episode of One Piece, guys. Uh, but did you have any favorite moments from it? Any favorite funny moments? And what are you looking forward to seeing in some of the coming episodes of One Piece? You can let me know with your comments below. Remember guys, before you leave, make sure and hit that like button so you can give this video a thumbs up. It is absolutely one of the best ways to support our videos. And you can see some of the other videos that we've been working on. We are releasing a ton of content weekly. So, I will see you next time guys. Super Kami Guru 9000, out.